Dr. Ann Kurth, Dr. Wayne Riley, Dr. Kristen Bibbins Domingo, dear colleagues and friends. Thank you for the opportunity to address the 176th Annual Meeting of Fellows, and it's an honor. We live in an era of overlapping crisis, conflict, natural disasters, hunger, outbreaks, political instability, profound inequities, and more. Looming over all of this is the climate crisis, which is also a crisis for global health. It drives the extreme weather that's taking lives around the world, fuels the spread of infectious diseases, and undermines food security. These harms and health burdens are not born equally. Low-income and other marginalized populations suffer disproportionately from the effects of climate change, from warming temperatures to desertification to reduced water availability. Past injustices perpetuate and amplify the impacts of climate change. It's a vicious cycle. That's why climate change and the social determinants of health are among the WHO's top priorities. We're working with countries to make the health sector more climate resilient and climate friendly. I thank you all for your commitment to producing the best science and evidence to drive policies for a healthier, fairer, and more resilient world. I thank you.